today's video, I'm unpacking the new house and sharing unpacking and packing tips with you. So if you're interested, then just keep on watching. Welcome back and if you are new here, my name is Brittany and I do home and lifestyle here on this channel. So if you're interested, then you can hit the subscribe button below and let's get into today's video. So I wanted to start in the bedroom because the number one thing that I have learned to do after moving five or six times in my lifetime by myself is that the bed is the most important thing to put together first. Usually I do this myself. However, this time I had the movers do my bed and my son's father did his bed as well so that our beds were already ready by the time that we got that first night in the house. And then I went ahead and made the bed. Now, I know a lot of people when they move, they like to get new furniture and everything like that. But I'm not one of those people who likes to spend that kind of money when I move because moving is just so expensive anyway so what I like to do is keep what I have especially if I love it I've built over time that way when I bought this house I really didn't need to buy anything because I already had everything for it that includes all the furniture I think there's one thing that I needed to get was like a new dining set because in recent years I hadn't been using a dining set and we'd just been eating at the bar on a TV tray and things like that. But in this particular case, I did want to have something new. So what I did is I reinvested into my bed. So my mattress is already extremely comfortable. I absolutely love it, but I've always wanted to upgrade my bedding. And I didn't want to completely get rid of everything that I had, including a lot of my decorative pillows or my decorative comforter. So what I did is I invested into a duvet. I told you guys when I went to Crate and Barrel that I absolutely fell in love with theirs and I was definitely gonna go back. But when I looked at Crate and Barrel against West Elm, I definitely wanted to go with West Elm. I know West Elm had very similar prices to Crate and Barrel and Pottery Barn for that matter. I chose West Elm in the end. I think they had the best quality for the best price, even though they were all pretty close those three stores but I did go with West Elm and what I love about their duvet insert is they sell two different ones which are like temperature control so they have the cooling one which is lighter and then they have a warm one which is a lot more plush and a lot heavier the cooling one is actually pretty heavy so I'm glad that I went with the cooling one especially so that they can keep me cool at night and I don't sweat in my sleep and then I invested in sheets and covers from Target and I'm so glad that I did this because this bed feels absolutely amazing. <laughs> Then moving on to the kitchen, I feel like the most important thing after setting up your bedding so you can have somewhere to sleep after a long day of moving is unpacking the kitchen. And so that's what I'm gonna start with here. two very big pasta bowls that I got from they're really for soup but I use them for pasta that I got from Walmart they're huge they're perfect for like when I serve like seafood fettuccine and stuff like that but they're really big and you can see how they're hanging off the shelf but they actually fit this is the first time I've been able to actually fit them in my cabinetry they are hanging off the shelf but the door still closes because it has that room that gap in there Am I thinking everything that I use the most to be on the right and then on the left would be like all of my serveware for holiday dinners and parties and things like that. Same thing, I'll probably put wine glasses and champagne flutes, decanters and everything in that cabinet. Oh, a little, little shopping haul update. I got, I went back and got these. You guys saw that I have been looking at these at Target for a while and they look really great. They match the tops match the wooden tray that I showed you guys in my new home decor haul. So that's cool. And then also the gray in them match the utensil holder. I'm gonna put all of my wooden utensils in here. And then the drawers here, I'm gonna put all of my, I think I'm gonna use this. this is the Magnolia set of measuring spoons. So I'm gonna put like all my cooking utensils in here, like all of the silicone and 
nylon plastic ones that I actually cook with. And then in this drawer, I'm gonna do all my spices because I'm right here, so have everything easily accessible. And then on this side, I'll do like the silverware um, containers, like the wooden ones. Store all my silverware. And I like this drawer, it's really big, so now I can separate the gold silverware from the silver silverware. And I also wanna get the black silverware as well from Magnolia. And then in here, and then in this one, I think I'm gonna put like all my bigger utensils for like barbecuing and things like that. I don't know how much of this I'm gonna get on film since my SIM card's not working, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and, um, and show you guys what I can. And then on this side is gonna be my coffee nook. Um, I'm not gonna do everything in this video because literally today I just wanna do the essentials, but I am gonna have like all of my coffee mugs up here. And then obviously this is my coffee nook here. I've got some things out, but like, again, stuff that I showed you guys in the new home haul video. But like, I gotta change some things around with this situation. Um, and of course, in the drawer below is where I'm gonna put like all of the teas and stirs and sweeteners and things like that. Um, and then down here, I plan to have like all of my different tumblers to go mugs and things like that. But I'm gonna put like pots and pans in this drawer, and then this is just gonna be my son's like plastic wear drawer. These cabinets, I'm not really decided yet. If I don't need it, I'm not gonna use it. I think it's nice to have drawers and stuff that if it can be empty, let it be empty because there's always room to grow over the years. Down here is probably where I'll put all of my big cutting boards. I got some big cutting boards, uh, pans, pizza pans, um, cookie sheets, different flat things like that that can go down there and it'll be right next to the stove, which is nice. And then in here, I'm not really sure. I don't think I'll need to use this. This is something that goes with the stove. Again, it's like an air fryer convection stove and I'm not really sure how to use that yet. I have to look at some videos and the instructions. I'm not sure how this works, but that is part of the stove. But I don't know if I actually need this cabinet right now. It might be an empty cabinet, which is nice. By the dishwasher. I'm gonna save that for a pull out trash can. I'm gonna put these pipes down there and over here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one yet. I don't think I need it. I don't think I need this one either. Um, this one is probably gonna be my mitten drawer with hot warmers and things like that in here. This drawer over here is gonna be a temporary junk drawer. But I want to show you guys a quick unboxing. So my realtor got me a Tiffany and Co home gift, which was really fitting because I love all things home. So this is a cute little, um, it's like a crystal, it's a crystal bowl. It's so pretty and I love it. I'm going to store this over here where I put all of the silverware. gonna have to use my dishwasher as a drying rack for now for just some dishes that I'm hand washing. I need to try that trick that cleans off cooking stains with like baking soda. A helpful packing tip that I did want to tell you guys about though, I had ordered like a bunch of tissue, these tissue papers in a big a big bundle from Amazon when I moved. And I don't know what I did with them when I unpacked another alternative to use if you don't have those type of sheets is definitely bubble wrap to save all your bubble wrap that you're getting from your Amazon orders and things like that. Tissue papers from like wrapping gifts and gift bags. And I actually saved this. I think this might have, did this come from my phone? I don't know, it came from something. But when you see little materials and stuff like this, if you know you're moving, it'd be helpful to hang on to these. Another helpful tip is to use trash bags. The best grocery bag is gonna be Target. Their bags are a little thicker. Here's a bowl. I put, I wrapped this in a Target bag 
and I put it in the box and I just kept stacking bowls on top of it. So that worked out really well. So just a little helpful tip. So the next important thing for me is just making sure I wipe down everything that the movers touch because they touch so much stuff and their hands are sweating and they're getting sweat everywhere, if not anything else. So that's very sanitary and very necessary. Another tip is use the movers wardrobe boxes. They are so necessary for your closet if you have a lot of clothes and if not, use the trash bag method. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification to be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, Sundays when I upload. And I hope to see you in another video which might be somewhere on your screen. But until then, be your own kind of beautiful.